beef in Brooklyn was scrapping as part of life. Right. So we happened to be the type of journalist to start a fight. What? I was raised in Gleason's. I was in the precinct. Damn. But I beat the case with my sweet peak defense. Ha. You drinking if you think you beating us. If I have to, I'ma put on margarito gloves. Don't do it. I'm in the bar plays like I own it. What you expected? The way I seized the moment they thought I was epileptic. Damn. The fight game can't survive without me. I throw shots that make fighters spit out their mouthpiece. Never days off. Nah. Only days on. Yeah. I represent the hood like I'm Trayvon. These moments in boxing are so proper. Like when Floyd told Oscar he beat his whole roster. It's our action that speaks the loudest. Though we the sweet scientists, they ain't nothing, nothing sweet about us. All right, my name, folks. Uh, listen, there's a lot to talk about right now in the sport of boxing. We have, obviously, uh, who we, I guess we all feel is going to be the biggest event ever. <laughs> McGregor Floyd Mayweather. History. Well, you, you're against totally, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not. Is it, is it really I, I, well, I'm sure it's kind of helping your life. career out as well. The it's life. not. It's not helping my career out. But it's not because it couldn't. It's because I'm abstained from the event. I've, I've somewhat evolved since the first conversation you sure had about it. I can tell. I feel it. But not on principle. No, it's because of the paycheck. You, you need to pay I'm not bills. picking up the paycheck. This is what I keep trying to tell you. Why? Yeah. I have not participated in Mayweather McGregor at all. I had a responsibility to my outlets to show up with a camera and film what happened in Los Angeles. Right. But I didn't interview anybody, I gave no commentary on it, I simply pointed the camera in the direction, as is my obligation, showed what they fucking did, and went home. Why? And because for me, I cover boxing. I cover a competitive sport where both fighters get in the ring and they are matched up against one another to see who is the best pugilist even, on that Even day. in boxing, when that doesn't have real boxing time, that doesn't have real time. It's not even attempting that. It's always attempted. Even if you have no, a fighter, not when yeah. you're an opponent. Yeah. Not when you're going in there to pick up a check and building another fighter's career. How many of those fights do any of us cover? You're talking about a club fight that might be happening on the corner at 6 o'clock tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we don't give it attention and we don't cover it. I, well, that's what I'm saying. You don't give it attention and you don't cover it. That's all I'm saying about Conor McGregor. So you want there, I'm just here to film. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I did that because, listen, the demand, I'm not shitting on the demand. People want to see it. Both fighters are correct. They're giving the people what they want. That's not, I don't give the people what they want, I give them what they need. And my plan is what you want. No, I give them what they need. My, these guys need boxing coverage. That's what they come to me for. They don't come to me for event sensationalism. They don't come to me for entertainment news. You know what I mean? I don't do it. Are you doing it to the, it seems like, I'm not saying this is the reason, but it almost seems like you want to go against the grain. Yeah, he, he's boycotting. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because let's be honest. Yeah. It's an event. Yeah, gives a shit. No, none of us in this room will turn down a bag of money that big to do pretty much anything. Which is why I'm not, like you said, against it. I'm not against it. I'm understanding that the fighters have an opportunity, and they're each a fighter in their respective sports, to be right. sure. Right. They have an opportunity to cash in in a way that neither one of them, not even Floyd, has been able to cash in on one night ever. So they said, we put on this event, the fans want it, They've proven that by showing up just to see them talk shit. Right. We're gonna give them that and we're gonna collect this check. The difference for me is, I wish the boxing community that covers real fucking fights, that well, are boxing journalists, that are pugilist scientists, right. would abstain so about, about and allow us, entertainment, allow People Magazine, yeah, you know, allow the entertainment news to cover entertainment. That's all I'm saying. For us to 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 legitimize, <laughs> to bring legitimacy to this, which we all know is a farce, is really just a money grab for everybody. I can't okay, tell nobody how to get money. Let me give you one more piece of it, though. Okay. The only people involved in this thing that should be ashamed. I'm making a decision. I'm gonna say you guys should be ashamed for okay. covering it. Okay. The only people who should be ashamed is in Nevada. State Athletic Commission. What the fuck are they doing? I'll tell what you what, they they I'll tell you what they're, they're doing. A bunch of them are getting a lot of money deposited in their <laughs> accounts, okay? That's, that's what they're, they're, they're doing. So they, they take care of I don't accounts. have a problem with it. Their, their entire existence is because you're not supposed to get a bunch of money deposited in your account and then that changed the rules. Listen, they're the, 
then they're supposed to be the safeguard. Let me tell you something. Money can change any rule. And the commission is useless. Uh, you're saying you're not against this, and you're saying it like it's not in your jurisdiction. That I, I like you. I, I can understand. That. Now, but check it out though. What if McGregor wins? Let's just say. No, come on, come on, dog. We we can dream a little bit. <laughs> Let's say McGregor wins. It's fixed. everything you just said is even worse. No, boy, cause no. it's fixed. Boy. If McGregor wins, boy. it's fixed. I'll show. Of course, I'll show. Because I'll show. there's no you mean way he doesn't have a puncher's chance. He doesn't have a puncher's chance. <laughs> He's not a boxer. You, know, you was, cannot take you know the best. That, that's the rhetoric I was putting out first. But honestly, I'm going to be realistic. And I'm one of the guys that says he doesn't have a chance in the world. But I will say he has a punch. There's a 1% chance. Because, because one punch because, sense. Because chance. He's, a young, he's a younger man. And I don't want to sound cliche like all these journalists trying to sell the fight, right? right? But he is young. Floyd is getting old. Sometimes a guy gets old in one day. So we don't know. Yes. Most likely, if I had $10,000 to bet, yeah, I'll put it on Floyd. I know he's going to win the fight. But I cannot be comfortable saying that McGregor doesn't have a bunch of chance. Let me, let me tell you this. But I'm not, we're not really. I could make three times easy without even me going out and seeking more sponsorship from right. the sponsors that currently work with me. We're willing to pay three times the money. Right, of course. For me to cover this thing. Right. So, this is not just me talking shit with no, no skin in the game. Right. I'm losing money by right. not doing this. And I'm not some holier than thou saint. The reason I'm doing it, to be honest with you, is because I think the what I would make off this fight is not equal to the damage it would do to my brain. Yeah. Everybody has their way about it, right? You, you guys, integrity, you don't want to come Yeah, wanna yeah. Up. you guys have to show, and listen, you guys are, I'm, I've told you this before, I tell you on air because everything I say you know, off camera, I'm willing to say on camera. You guys are the best ones doing what you do. Appreciate this right here, this is the best show set up for boxing. You, you have to guess, it's an excellent way to approach the sport. And I would be, of all the other people that cover the sport like we do, I would be less critical of you guys looking at Mayweather McGregor because of the format that you have. Like you say, it's not in my jurisdiction. Right. It's more in your jurisdiction. This right. does yeah. have yeah. some, yeah. some, yeah. 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 some context. So, so what, he, what he's saying is that we're not real boxing journalists. You know, no, we're just no, like that. Saying, no, he's not saying you have, you have saying a We have entertainment value. We have right. yeah. entertainment value. We're tapped into that culture. And I'm okay with that. I embrace it. Your brother is always right. Always, always, top, so always obviously. Yeah. Right. So, no, what I'm saying is that even though I'm a passionate advocate boxing fan, right? And a historian, honestly. I, I can break down the whole fights. This is my sport. But I also feel like I need to, I need to transcend the sport. And we always, since we've been creating content for years, always thought about tapping into that fan that knows Floyd and kind of doesn't know Mikey Garcia. That's why we're here. And, 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 and that's, that's, that's my angle. Point. That's why, that's why I guess maybe that's why I'm not so against the fight. Right. But I do understand your point. Listen. Not only am I watching it, not only am I watching it, I throw in the most epic fight party, 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 party ever. You know what? No, you have a big party. No, no, party, not fight party. A big party. party. Yeah, yeah. Look well, at you. Know, there, may be, yeah. there may be a fight breaks out of my party. But I can't tell you what it's going to be, but there's a reason it's going to be epic. Oh, yeah. you know what? So that's what we're going to go watch the fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I think this, you know, it's funny. I think this is the kind of thing that boxing fans should use. Everyone is going to watch it. Nobody. Should go to the event. First of all, I see the ticket prices. You gotta be out of your fucking mind. Like that is just a arena full of suckers. Yeah. Go home, set up your, you know, I'll pay 125, whatever it is for the HD, and invite your homies over and have the best party, the best event party you yeah. can possibly yeah. have. Makes this sense. is what this is. It's a fun thing. I'm not mad about it. It's just not boxing to me. And boxing. you can't have a guy that's O and O and O facing the best boxer of our time and consider that a, a, a competitive event. The only thing, there's, just, there's just no way. Listen, the only thing I have a problem with is fighters and fight fans and, and trainers and journalists that say, um, there's so many other boxers and welterweights that deserve the opportunity to make that money. You have to be a draw to make money. You have to be able to put butts in seats. You have to get viewers. So you can't say, Oh, Thurman deserves that shot to make $100 million. He would never make $100 million in his career combined. So, I mean, McGregor's a polarizing figure. That's the guy that's going to earn that type of and money. That's the only that reason why Floyd is going to earn that money. Exactly, exactly. So, let's not dream about who deserves a shot and right. why. Right. They don't deserve it if they can't draw that revenue in.
And that's where the boxing, the boxing fan, the pugilist mind, the scientist in these sport have a conflict because this shit doesn't sync up. This is, if you think of this in the context of what boxing is and what we ascribe to be the sweet science, it doesn't make any sense at all. If you think about this as entertainment, this is a big blockbuster movie coming out. This is a big concert, like a one-time only show, and everybody's gonna pack to see their favorite artists and cheer for their favorite songs. That makes sense. If you put it in an entertainment context, all but this shit makes if, perfect even sense. Even if you put in boxing content, but back in the day, the fighters that made big money were fighters that were that transcended the sport. They were more popular outside the ring. Mike Tyson. No, but I you can't put that in boxing content. What do you mean? No, what I'm saying. What I'm saying ultimately is that that's the only fight that's gonna make that much money. That's why it's being made. Yeah. So, what, and what's wrong with it, honestly? Like, it's one fight, it's one night. One night, one fight, fine. You're gonna get, you know, a lot of people to pay for this fight that are not true boxing fans. The fight is not even catering to the people that you that you target. It's not catering to doesn't that, that Doesn't that help the sport having more people looking at boxing? Whether the hardcore fans think it's true boxing or not, you're getting people who don't it, ever watch it, watch it that night. It draws eyeballs. What happens when that first bell rings will have a lot to do with whether or not this is good or bad for the sport. And I don't know what we're gonna see. I hope when the bell rings, all the bullshit is out the window because this press tour was a lot of bullshit. It will be, I will but absolutely. It, it, if that's the fight. case, it's, it's gonna be a fight. If and that's like the case, other. if that's for real, there's no choreography, nobody carries no. anybody, no. No. nobody's trying to keep it in. No oh, that's, no that's impossible? That's no. gonna happen? No. Not not with his happen. ego, for his ego in the ring? Never. Let me never. Ask, okay, okay, you say never. never. This is 50. Right. Is this 50? What, what the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> this is 50. Right. We're talking Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather, right? Yes. Is this 50? Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather, is this number 50? Come on, guys. Yes. This is 50. It, yeah. Let's try to be That was real clever. Real clever. Right. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. So, so. I, I, is uh, this 50? Uh, I think not, uh, no, listen, no, listen. Not, not the 50 with the real shit. Well, 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 no, 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 it's, it, it's it, it, the record's gonna say the 50th win after he beats McGregor. I don't care how you slice it, what you're into. It's a professional boxing. It's always gonna be an asterisk, right? That there, 50 there, though. There, there, there will, but there, there'll be a lot of zeros in his bank account too. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about uh, about it being. He doesn't care about his legacy. You just he don't already established all this shit. Yeah, but he, uh, okay, okay, listen, it can't uh, hurt your legacy if you win uh, against McGregor. Yeah, I it can't hurt it. If you call it 50, if you say that this is as legitimate as all other 49 wins, and now that. you break the record, we're talking about saying like you, oh my God. you're the proverbial Floyd in this conversation, okay? Right? There we go. Can we talk in a break? Like I said before, I'll you said, like I said, with Floyd's ego, he wouldn't allow this to go. We know choreography, absolutely not. I think he's so. looking at this as entertainment, that's how the money comes. The longer the, the, the fight goes on, the more sponsors, the more time, airtime sponsors get. You can't tell me that's not worth more well, money. Well, honestly, if it's more entertaining, it's worth more money, even on the back end. So if this is number 50, then you have to say that this fight is as legitimate as all of the 49 boxing matches. Yeah. And that's why the initial comment of this conversation was, Boxing heads cannot find a way to look at this without, without entertainment eyes and vice versa. Well, this, 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 this is how I'm a this boxing. Box. This is how I look at it without the entertainment aspect. Because in the ring, right? Me having experience being in the ring, you know, competing against people. When you're a fighter and you're in that ring, first of all, I, personally, I think they personally don't like each other. And I think it's genuine, the yes. dislike. Yes. So once you're in that ring with those gloves on, you're not, the last thing you're thinking about is what happened before, what's gonna happen after, what are people thinking? You get, you wanna beat the shit out of dude in front of you. And that's what's gonna happen at night. So I'm gonna appreciate, as soon as that bell rings, I'm gonna appreciate the fight that's gonna happen in that ring, regardless of it being a mismatch or not. I'm not thinking about the, the, the entertainment and the promotion before. 
So this fight shouldn't get out of the first round. If, that, if that's Floyd's mentality, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. He ought to be able to run across that ring and beat the shit out of him. Well, I honestly don't think it's gonna be that easy. I think Floyd it, it doesn't, he never, he hasn't started fast like that in a long time. He, he's still, he's still fighting a guy that never fought, which is gonna be, I mean, never boxed, so, which is gonna be awkward. He, he's gonna have to figure a few things out. Floyd's not gonna go in there and, and, and steamroll this guy. This, this, shit, should, gotta, this shit should be not. like uh, Indiana Jones <laughs> in that fucking tunnel with the swordsman doing all this. <laughs> this is McGregor doing all this shit. My now, listen, when we get, we, 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 we get, I say it's more likely that Floyd goes in there and has a heart attack and it's a right. TKO. That's more likely. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving him a, a cardiovascular chance. <laughs> All right, folks, listen, man. We want to thank Raheem for coming to the show today. The Sweet Scientist, this is 50.com. We out of here. Wait, don't be out of here yet, because before I leave these gentlemen's company, I have to tell you, and it comes straight from the heart, man, this is my favorite place to talk boxing. Wow. That you two wow. actually do what it is that I wish I could do. And if I set up something like this, I would like to have a partner like you or a partner like you to do it with. So I'm doing something different. You guys are holding this ground. I'm glad that the, you guys are here to hold this ground because it's the kind of place that fighters need to be able to come and talk about boxing. Thank you. You heard it. And we didn't even pay him. That didn't cost a lot. That's nah. it. That's an incredible guy that you heard first. Man. That's right. Scientist. Right here.